Senior Vice President of Business Development here at Avacode, and welcome to Unhacked. Uh, we bring you the news of the latest cybersecurity attacks every week, as well as tips to help keep them from happening to you. Uh, so this week's uh, topic is going to be the Petit Potam attack. Uh, what is it, and how do you do? To, what do you do to stop it? So Petit Potam allows hackers to perform an NTLM relay attack. So what is what is NTLM? Um, it is Windows NT LAN Manager, um, and, and it's just a service that allows authentication uh, remotely. Uh, and what a relay attack is, is when a hacker um, will insert themselves in between a client and a server and are able to capture the information that is transmitted um, uh, across, uh, across transmission lines uh, from the client to the server. In this case, they are capturing the authentic the authentication information. So they they're able to see the hacker is able to see uh, the hashed passwords. Uh, now those passwords are encrypted, but because they're hashed, um, they're very easily cracked. Um, and so the hacker is able to get the authentication information, then authenticate directly uh, to whatever service. During the relay attack, the hacker is able to see those um, hash passwords and are able to crack them, and then they're able to authenticate using that, uh, that account to, to the service remotely. Um, so how can you protect against uh, NTLAN attacks and uh, man-in-the-middle attacks in general? So Microsoft's come out with guidance for how to prevent this specific attack. Um, they recommend that you enable Kerberos or enable signing uh, to beef up the authentication process and make sure the hackers aren't able to uh, get access to those to those credentials uh, to those hash passwords. Uh, and in general, you want to make sure that your patching process is up to date. Uh, make sure you're you're applying security updates um, as soon as uh, feasible, and that you are uh, monitoring uh, the patching level of all of your systems. Um, but this goes back to uh, how do you implement an effective security program? Well, if by the time you're getting to the uh, NTLM attack or the replay attack or anything like that, it's already too late to implement some sort of process to fix this or, or prevent it from happening. The process has to start uh, at, the, um, at the oversight executive level and at the planning level. Uh, you need to make sure that you are uh, maintaining an inventory of all of your services and all of your solutions. How do you know if something's um, not uh, not patched correctly or, or out of date or doesn't have the appropriate patch levels if you don't even know the system is there? Um, and you can't always patch to the, to the latest level depending on the uh, services and the systems that are involved. So you want to make sure that you're keeping track of that. Um, you have to you have to definitely make sure you're uh, tracking systems that aren't patched to the latest level along with the rationale for why it's not patched. If there is a good reason, then that's okay. You can't always have it to the top level, but you need to make sure that other personnel in your, in your organization are aware of why that is. They're aware of the risks and they're aware of what's being done uh, in the interim to mitigate that risk. And then when is the update uh, planning on when? When is the organization planning on um, patching that that system? Um, so that's the first part: is making sure that your inventory is correct, you are maintaining oversight over all of your all of your systems, and that you have a patching process that uh, is patching your systems uh, when feasible and tracking those that are not um, that are not patched to the highest level. So beyond that, you want to make sure you're doing vulnerability scans. Uh, we recommend monthly, but at least quarterly, so that you're identifying vulnerabilities and patching those as well according to your, uh, your patch methodology. Um, beyond that, you want to make sure that you are monitoring for uh, unauthorized activity within your organizations because just like this, uh, this attack that just came out, there are zero day attacks, there are attacks for which there are there is no vulnerability that uh, we can detect. And the only way we are gonna know that 
anything is going on within the organization is if there is a 24 by 7 continuous monitoring across different devices. So for um, an attack that, that occurred using this uh, specific method, there wouldn't be a vulnerability that we could scan for uh, because you could be patched to the latest level, but this attack is still uh, viable. So you want to make sure that you're uh, the only way to, to detect it is to detect that unauthorized activity that occurs after the uh, authentication occurs. So making sure that you're uh, looking for escalated privileges, that you have uh, your production environment and your environment where you're, you have sensitive information locked down um, so that even if someone gets access to your system, if they're getting trying to access your, uh, your most sensitive data or your production applications, there should be some sort of alarm going off. Because even if that authentication wasn't detected, there still should be some sort of unauthorized activity that occurs. And the way you determine that is by uh, having a SIM run uh, for a baseline period. And what that does is um, tracks your users and gets a, establishes a baseline of their activity. When are they accessing folders? What, what folders do they access? What folders do they not access? When are they on the network? When are they off the network? And that will give you um, give you a baseline of uh, of activity activity and operations so that when someone comes in and does something that is out of the ordinary which is what should uh, is what a hacker would do uh, either they're coming in at, at uh, off times they're accessing in a manner that normally isn't being used or trying to escalate privileges or trying to jump from one network to another uh, your sim may not know this is a petit patam attack because that attack hasn't been uh, hasn't been defined and hasn't uh, hasn't been assigned a vulnerability, but it will be able to determine that hey something something untoward's happening here. This user doesn't normally do this, or these privileges are escalated. And I've never seen that before. That at least give you a leg up to help stop the actual incident from occurring. Um, everything else in terms of the security program is trying to prevent that hole from being used in the first place. But only your sim is going to tell you something's happening right now. Uh, we need to respond uh, immediately. So that's all we have today. Uh, join me every Thursday on Unhacked. I'm Brian Grapp, and I will see you next week.